ladies, and welcome to Real Life Cooking. I'm Dr. Vanessa Ellen, and I am excited, yes I am, about bringing to you our series on, it's all about options, but it's about the Daniel's fast. And you all have probably already finished your church-wide fast. Our fast at our church starts a little bit later. We usually start around February. So I've been posting things or thinking about posting things that will just kind of help us, but it will be kind of like quick bites. But my theme this year is all about the options. You know, we have so many options in this day and age, but I wanna kind of take it back to the scripture, kind of pull out an extended application from the text and apply it to our fasting journey. So stick with me here. I wanna to go to Proverbs 31 and verses, well, let's just look at verse 30. So before we talk about cooking and feeding our tummy, Let's feed our spirit on the word of God. Proverbs 31, 30. And you know this one, it's very familiar. Verse 30 says, charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Now, what's important about this text? As you know, we, if we were to take all of Proverbs 31, this is a mother talking to her son, King Lemuel, about, first she addresses him about being a king and different things that he should and should not do. Then he, she launches into this conversation about the type of woman, type of wife, he should be looking for. Runs through all these various different things. And in the end, she gets down to verse 30, which I think is really important. And it says, a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. So now let's take this and make an extended application if we can, without being out of context. All about the options. So we have two options here. We can make our fasting time all about confessing and repenting and drawing near to God, fearing the Lord, reverencing the Lord, drawing closer to him. Or you know what? We can get caught in vanity and we make, can make our fasting time about weight loss or how we look or just get caught, too caught up in the food aspect of it. Yes, food is very important to your fasting journey. I'm sure your church has set out guidelines and guardrails and you've got to figure out how to get within that to stick with the corporate fast. But you know, we really need to focus a woman who fears the Lord. See, the beauty issue shouldn't be our concern here. Yes, we're going to lose some weight. Yes, we may get all, you know, slim and all of that. But what are we doing here? What is our purpose? Now remember, this is an extended application. We want to use this fasting time as an opportunity to draw closer to the Lord. So all about options, we have two options here. Draw closer to the Lord during our fasting time. Confess, repent. Draw closer to our brothers and sisters in our corporate worship time because we're doing this together. Or we can make it all about vanity. We can make it all about beauty. We can make it all about food. We can make it all about losing weight. It's our choice. All about the options. All right, ladies, today I'm going to do something really simple. Just a lettuce wrap. But I'm going to try to add a few things because we're on the go. And, and usually when you're fasting, you have a little bit more time because you don't have to spend so much time cooking per se, cooking these elaborate meals. So we're going to do this quickly. It's going to be a portobello mushroom lettuce wrap. So when we're talking about doing this particular lettuce wrap, this is kind of whatever you have in your refrigerator kind of thing. You don't have to have all these things that I'm about to put in here, but it's quick and easy. I have marinated the portobello mushrooms and I married them, marinated them in like a Dijon mustard kind of sauce. And then I'm gonna grill them on the oven just for a little bit. And then we have a little lemon to finish the whole process off, some jalapenos, bell peppers, some cracked black pepper, salt. I'm going to add a little ginger. I'm just gonna kind of grate some ginger on top. I think it's just for flavor. If you don't like ginger, don't do it. Some radish, corn, and carrots, and hummus that I purchased. Okay, so you want to get your pan extremely hot. Once you have your pan extremely hot, then I just usually just dump my whole marinade and everything in. And truly it's going to depend on the texture 
of mushroom that you prefer. Some people like it to have a little bit of bite still. Some people like for it to be a little bit more tender. That's totally your option. You could also pop this into the microwave, you know, a couple of minutes and then you're done. Then you don't have a pan to clean. But I like to just pop it into a skillet, grill it. My preference is maybe three minutes or so. And this is sort of like your meat replacement. So again, I marinated these mushrooms in a Dijon balsamic. You can use whatever you like that is consistent with your corporate fasting guidelines. Or nothing, really. You could just grill them, sprinkle a little olive oil on there, and toss them in your lettuce wrap. Okay, now let's put this all together and make a quick um, lettuce wrap. Portobello mushroom lettuce wrap. Now it depends on how you like your wraps. Do you want them thick and hearty so you can take and stack whichever way you like and make a whole little boat that goes like that? Or you can do them individually and you'll get more out of them like that. Usually I do mine individually like that. So, but I'm gonna make them just a little bit hearty, okay? I wanna put my hummus in first. And remember, double check your hummus and make sure that it is something that is indeed on your fasting list. Or it's kinda easy to make your own too, if, you're, if you have that kind of time. Then I'm going to add the carrots. Now, what I, only thing I cooked here were the mushrooms and you could have popped that in the microwave. Everything else I'm gonna leave because I want it to be fresh. Put a little carrot in there. And I'm watching the bottom so it's not a soggy lettuce wrap, right? So I'm gonna leave this to kind of the top so it's not so soggy. And I'm gonna put my corn in. And then <laughs> as my sous chefs are sliding in our sauce at the end, I forgot to tell you about this. We'll talk about that in a minute. I put in carrots, I put in bell peppers and corn, and I think I'm gonna put the radish, radishes on top. So let's go ahead and put some mushrooms, this amazing mushroom that we grilled up. Let's put a couple of pieces of that in there. You see how hearty that is? I am going to put now let's put a little radish. I want to, don't fall over, don't fall over. Me, I want just a little bit of seasoning. A little bit of salt, just a little bit. A little bit of pepper. Cracked pepper is what I have, black cracked pepper. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of jalapenos, just on top like that. And now I'm going to just zest a little bit because I like ginger. A little bit of ginger on here. And try not to zest my finger with it. Just a little bit of ginger like this. Now let me tell you what we did. I have a hundred tools out now, right? We made some quote unquote sour cream, but it's it's Daniel's Fast Approved. This was hemp seed. I will put the ingredients linked in here and you just put it all in the blender, blend it up. I wanted it to be a little loose, kind of like sour cream. So we added a little water and just thinned it out and then just drizzled it on there. Ha, ha, oh, that looks good. And that's how we'll finish it off. Did I leave anything out? Oh, a little squirt, just a little squirt of lemon juice. Just a little bit. <laughs> mm. 
Well, okay, that was our portobello mushrooms. Now, it's all about options, right? You could have put this in a wrap, in some kind of wrap that was your Daniel's Fast Friendly. You could um, put different things on the inside. You certainly didn't have to use the stuff that I used. You may not even like ginger like that, but I do, especially when I'm having allergies and sinus and all that good stuff. It kind of really helps clear it all up. But I hope that our takeaway it's not about the food. It's from Proverbs 31, verse 30. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. Fears the Lord, reverences him, walks in his ways, trusts in him, follows him. Make that a practical application to your fasting time and say, Lord, I just want to know you more. I want to draw closer to you and have you draw closer to me. I want to learn how to reverence you more in my thoughts, my actions, my attitudes, my belief systems, and even in the food that I intake into this temple. Ladies, this has been Real Life Cooking, Daniel's Fast, All About Options series. Join us next time where we will be doing more things like this. Hey, don't forget, like, follow, subscribe, share this with a friend. Hey, our fast is starting with our church. We're going to be going four weeks, 30 days. Pray for us and we'll pray for you. Take care. See you next time. Oh, 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 I forgot to taste it. All right, let's see what happened. Now, you don't have to use that Dijon uh, balsamic. You can use anything because it can be a little strong. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it right there. All right, ladies. Enjoy. See you next time.